is my friend Dan, and he has a problem. My mom had me tested. Anyways, for the past three months, there's been an angry colony of yellow jackets living outside of his house that threaten him and chase him every time he walks around it. And right when he insisted on obliterating them, I told him to hold off for two weeks until I had time to make content about it because this is, this is good content. And if I show myself saving the yellow jackets, I'll gain the respect of animal conservationists worldwide. And you know, after uh, spreading microplastics in my lawn last video, I may need to restore my reputation with the environmentalists. So I decided to develop a plan to safely relocate the yellow jackets. Now for those of you that don't know, yellow jackets are known to be like the angriest version of any stinging insect. Sometimes you may not even do something to provoke them and they'll still bite you, sting you, and then keep keep stinging you. So we have to figure out two things. We must contain the bees. Two, relocate the bees. So me and Dan came up with a brilliant plan. A normal vacuum pulls everything into a filter first and it, it clogs it and it's it's gross. So this is a cyclone vacuum attachment. Air goes in here, pulls in all your particles. Particles go wee woo, wee woo, all the way down into the bottomless pit of death while the rest of the air goes out up here. The plan is to design one of these that fits in with the shop vac that I have. Once it sucks the yellow jackets in, they'll get spun around in the cyclone, making them super dizzy. They'll drop into a jar and hopefully they'll be so dizzy they won't know which way is up and I can just remove the jar and put a top on it. So I modeled the cyclone attachment in Onshape, a browser-based CAD software, and I printed it out. This is the cyclone, and this is the piece that attaches to the vacuum. Tolerances. Did you see it swirling around? This attachment should allow us to screw in a mason jar. Beautiful. <laughs> what, what weighs the same as a yellow jacket around here? <laughs> this is awesome. There's an obscene amount of ant hills in my yard. Should we relocate the ants? <laughs> There's like not in, that's not dirt. Those are ants. Look, they're alive. I don't think I see one that's not moving actually. And there's some in the cyclone too. When it came to relocating the bees as a true American, my first thought was a gun. I tried utilizing the Venturi effect by making an 8VLP gun attachment, but that didn't work out too well. The Venturi effect is a reduction of pressure that occurs when the air is forced through a smaller orifice. This low pressure pulls in the bees and yeets them out with the flow of air. Or you know, at least I thought it would. I called up my buddy Alan Pan, who apparently was also making a bee gun. I actually can't make this up. Why are you making a bee gun? <laughs> I, I want to make a bee gun. Emily, you're, I thought you were smarter than me. Why did you have the same <laughs> how, how did you go about it? I tried doing like uh, like one of those Venturi nozzle things so that it would suck the bees out of like a jar into the barrel and then out at the people. So you also use the Venturi effect with a with a jar. Yeah, I that's <laughs> like it didn't suck hard enough to suck the bees into the barrel. The Venturi effect before did not work as well as we would have liked it to. So now we're kind of going a different route. Instead, we're just gonna basically push air through the jar so that the wasps are forced to like exit it. <laughs> Presenting the wasp yellow jacket or whatever thing that's annoying you launcher We've got some things to fix right the, the jar, you know, it's taped on we kind of had to glue that there But forget about that. Okay, the idea is there and now we have 90 psi hooked up to it and we're gonna see if it shoots Ooh. <laughs> Oh my god And we're out this is not sealed all the way. This is just with tape Okay, so next we're gonna end up having Hello? to change. No, she's my cat. Stop calling me. Who was that? What? It's spam callers, dude. I get like 10 to 15 of them every day. Oh, well, who you heard of? Incogni. 
<laughs> yeah, I use incognito mode all the time. No, not that. So you know those spam calls, email, stuff like that. That's the result of data brokers selling your personal information, like your name, address, social security number. Even my cat's name? Even your cat's name. But don't worry, Incogni's got a solution. Incogni helps remove all your personal information from the internet and it keeps it that way. There are people buying and selling your personal information all the time nowadays. However, Incogni works with data brokers to request the removal of your personal information and handles all objections. So you don't have to do anything. When I signed up for Incogni, just look at how many requests they made to have my information removed right off the bat. I had no idea that many people had my personal information. If any of you want to try out Incogni for yourself, the first 100 of you to use the code EMILYDEAL using the link at the description will get 60% off of their Incogni subscription. So go check them out and thank you to Incogni for sponsoring this video. Wait, we're in another ad? How else do you want me to pay you, Dan? Wait, I'm making money? Editing magic, skipping to when the new one is done. Seamless transition. This is the updated version. This fits a jar now. And in addition to that, it's got a cool little diaphragm piece here. So it doesn't let the bees or the wasps or the yellow jackets uh, just slowly climb out and escape. Now we put pieces in there, but they're not sliding out of the barrel. But when we hold down the trigger, so we donned our 50 layers of clothing and beekeeping suits. And at first things were honestly pretty chill. Are we just, are we just gonna start sucking them up? Mission objective, suck up all the yellow jackets into this jar. Then we transfer the jar to this. They're all coming out. I know. Holy crap. So the vacuum method was working well, but it didn't take long for the yellow jackets to start asserting their dominance. They're trying so hard to sting you, bro. Yeah, happy. Really? So I kept sucking them up while Dan separated them from the dirt. Oh. Look at them. They're just not, they're not even trying. Eleven. They're so dizzy. But there's so many. I'm just holding it on there. Yeah. Oh, I'm just on there. <laughs> there's so many. There's so many. They're all over me. Just give them a second. No, that's hours for them to calm down. I'm like actually freaking out right now. Are you okay? I'm good. So we propped up the vacuum and kind of just let it do its thing. Yo. Not a single one is able to get out, bro. This is a jar of very, very dizzy yellow check. You wanna count them out, Dan? Bro, there's too many of them. <gasps> nope. <laughs> no. Nope. We have a small sample of 30 yellow jackets and we're gonna take this guy. They're all still pretty dizzy. We're gonna attach them to our launch. And we're gonna go relocate these guys. It's time, boys. <gasps> and thus we began dispersing them. I kind of wish it shot a little farther, but let's be honest, it would probably kill them if we eated them any harder. So, you know, I'm pretty happy with it. We've successfully relocated the bees without completely killing them. <laughs> Dan, however, seemed a little unhappy about that. I ain't scared of no bees. Dan. Dan! What? So the whole point of this video was to not, like, kill them, is we just make them dizzy and then put them somewhere else, right? Yeah, I'm relocating them. To the afterlife. Dad, no! They're your friends! Whoa. Whoa, whoa! Using them against themselves! Bro, where did he go? Oh, bro, that's the hive. Holy cow. Dude, that's actually, that's so cool. Whoa, 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 whoa.